Hello everyone, this is PK Entertainment and we're back again and here now we have another video for you and this time we'll take a look and review at the second trailer for Cobra Kai Season 4. Now there might be spoilers throughout this review for the previous three seasons so just be aware when going into this overall video. Now all three seasons of Cobra Kai are available on Netflix and you can check out my previous reviews of the show and I'll leave some links within the description as well. Now Cobra Kai Season 4 is due for release on December the 31st 2021 and it's already been renewed for a fifth season as well. So just to quickly recap, at the end of Season 3, we essentially saw the union of Johnny and Daniel, both of the Miyagi Dojo and also the Eagle Fang Dojo, as they go on to take on Kreese's Cobra Kai students in the upcoming Or Valley Tournament. And of course, all of the fans of the show were very excited, especially for the pending return of Terry Silver from Karate Kid Part 3. So overall, did this trailer get me excited or even more hyped up for the fourth season? And I have to say, in terms of that context, this trailer did exactly that. There were so many great scenes and references and plenty to get you excited about for the upcoming season. So we begin a trailer with opening montages of both the Miyagi Dojo and Eagle Fan Dojo working together, or in this case, trying to work together. And again, we're going to get lots of scope here for great humour and comedy as both Johnny and Daniel try to fuse all of their ideologies together and we're going to get various amounts of clashes between their own distinctive personalities and this is what really has been such the big foundation of the series we get lots of quick montages of all of the students training together training against each other sitting in the dojo itself and we see a lot of the variances in terms of the training style so we get multiple scenes here where we see the students really practicing more of the more peaceful zen like qualities that we saw from Miyagi's training of Daniel and then we get the much more of the raw pragmatic approaches and techniques from Johnny and this is very much shown here in this scene here where it looks like he's trying to chain their resistance it looks like in terms of how to take a fall we see them standing at the top of the building here and they're looking down on mattresses so this looks like they're going to practice jumping down and trying to land down maybe test their overall weight resistance or landing techniques so again we're going to have lots of fun seeing the students going through all of these different training methods again i love this scene here where we see eugene being all taped up it seems in pillows as they're practicing him taking punches now we know from previous seasons that eugene has very much been struggling in terms of adopting the karate techniques so again we're going to get a lot more focus on him trying to toughen himself up and again we're going to get a lot of humor and comedy as we see both daniel and johnny trying to chain up eugene as well so a very hilarious scene that we see on here as well we get another great scene here where we see johnny practicing the iconic wax on wax off what we, what we saw from the original films as well so this is what i love so again we're going to get a lot of contrasting dynamics here both dojos realizing that they have to work together and they have to learn each other's techniques if they're going to indeed emerge victorious at the tournament so i think it's going to be absolutely hilarious especially seeing johnny trying to practice all of the miyagi techniques as well we get this another great scene here where we see him practicing the kata if you remember from karate kid 3 so I, I can't wait to see how johnny reacts to this when he's trying to practice this for the first time we then catch up with chris training the cobra kai students again and i think overall the way that they've treated this character throughout the seasons now has been really fantastic this will be his third season now following both season two and season three and i loved how they added more depth to the character when we learned of his backstory with his experiences in vietnam and i'm pretty much sure we'll get more references to that and post what Chris did after the war in establishing Cobra Kai as well. It's also hinted that Robbie would indeed be the top student within the Cobra Kai dojo and this is really following on from what we saw in the later stages of season 3 and the overall mindset with the Cobra Kai students is that they'll have to learn all of the lessons that has been practiced from their rivals so we see here in later on scenes when Robbie is establishing very much so that in order to beat them they have to learn what they've been taught we then get this scene here, another reference to the wax on, wax off, this time with Robbie showing Tori the moves. So again, that's going to be another fascinating element where we see the crossing over of the techniques, both from the various dojos and the various students and seeing how they all react and adjust to the training methods. We then get the moment that all fans have been waiting for, the reunion of Chris and Terry Silver. And when we see Chris approaching Silver's apartment, it's a very large penthouse. So it seems from what we're seeing from the trailer here that terry silver is still very rich and successful he hasn't quite as fallen hard as what crease did when we caught up with him in season two if you remember from karate kid part three it seemed that terry silver was involved in some sort of shady businesses and he had the ability and the facility to acquire lots of cobra kai dojos all over the land so it seems that he's maintained his success certainly from this scene that we're looking at here 
and hopefully like they did with crease we'll get some context into what happened with terry silver post the events of karate kid 3 now throughout this series there's been various speculations as to whether terry is the father of hawk or tory or he's got some other relations to the other students i hope they don't do that at the end of the day i want everybody to kind of be independent i think it's kind of a cheap method if you just have the connection to the characters because they're connected by family i think i would like to see a far more organic connection between the characters overall and i also love the scene here where we see crease very much getting silver back into training he's throwing a couple of kicks and punches and crease is just standing there so it certainly seems that crease will still be the dominant personality of the two and again that's very much in keeping with the overall franchise itself it very much seems like crease will be coercing terry silver back into the game and once again that's very much in keeping with crease's personality one of his major strengths is that he's able to play on individuals fears and desires and what they want the most and he's able to turn that to his overall advantage so again just another fascinating dynamic that we see between the two on here and then we get this scene here again where we see terry silver adopting his famous ponytail hairstyle again just harkening back to the original films we get this latest scene here where terry silver says i hope we get to win this time so I'm sure there'll be some previous connection now when we saw the original finale for season three many people were speculating that these two were already working together and that terry silver was just staying behind the scenes i don't think that's quite the case i think despite the fact that he owed johnny his life is what we remember from the vietnam flashbacks i think perhaps terry silver went on to other enterprises and kind of handed over the cobra kai ownership to crease that's how he was able to obtain it from johnny but again we'll get that further established i'm pretty much sure throughout the season itself i also love this scene here where we see terry silver and robbie in combat training and terry silver gets the best of him so again we've established that terry silver has kept himself very much in shape and he's still got that cocky very confident personality about him and that's great to see as well so this isn't going to be an example of where we're trying to deconstruct terry silver he's still going to retain very much the same intelligence and savviness as what we saw from karate kid part three and again that's great to see as well we then get another great moment when we see silver and crease returning to the miyagi garden coming face to face again with daniel fantastic again and this is just where the show is once again going to amp up all of the tension and suspense between all of the characters again we see the cockiness from terry silver if you remember from karate kid part three he went to the Miyagi Garden in order to manipulate Daniel and cause a fraction between both him and Miyagi. So this is going to bring back lots of memories. And the trailer did a very good job here in cutting previous shots of Karate Kid Part 3 along with this sequence here. And it'll be very interesting to see how this scene plays out when Daniel comes face to face with Terry Silver once more. So I can't wait for all of these scenes. I think it's going to be absolutely brilliant watching all of the various interactions again and really adds a lot of weight to the overall series carrying forward the legacy from the original franchise now we do get some further tensions between both daniel and johnny as to be expected where daniel basically states that he just wants the best for miguel and the other students and johnny says now you know what's best for miguel so i think there's a bit of jealousy here from johnny as he basically will see the good connections between both miguel and daniel as well as i've mentioned in previous reviews that one of another big foundation of this series has been the relationship between both johnny and miguel and we're going to see that again and maybe see a further split in that relationship as miguel is further trained by daniel as well so again another great dynamic to look forward to throughout this season and of course when we talk about miguel we do eventually in this trailer get some focus on the younger characters it looks here that in some sort of i don't think it's quite a graduation party or whether it's a prom but we see the younger characters here all celebrating and in terms of the party scenes it certainly seems that both miguel and sam are back together again if you remember they were kind of on and off together throughout the first couple of seasons we then see robbie and tori walking together hand in hand in the party as well so essentially this is a reversal of the couple dynamics that what we saw earlier in the season if you remember there was a stage where both miguel and tori were together and both robbie and sam were together as well now to be honest i hope we don't focus on this too much i understand it's part of the character storylines but i'd rather we focus or we keep the focus on the tensions and the antagonism between the students themselves rather than all of the love stories because i think that will bog the season down and slow down any pace and momentum and then the last remaining parts of the trailer we get various scenes and cuts of the dojos clashing together we get further scenes here of daniel and silver talking together once more again i love all of that we get plenty of images of sam now training maybe 
We'll get interesting dynamics with her, certainly getting over her PTSD dynamics as what we saw in Season 3. Will they retain the rivalry that has been established between her and Tori as well? And these are just great scenes again, great montages of everybody training together, fighting against one another. So the fight choreography throughout the series itself, I think it's been really good. And this has been amplified very much in the spectacular finales for both Season 2 and Season 3. So I've got no doubt again that Season 4 will continue in that fashion as well. We get various scenes here where we see the students clashing together once more and it's very much established by Silver that there will be no fighting until the actual tournament. So this is very interesting as well because when I look at this scene it gives hints that perhaps the overall season will be split into two halves. So the first half will be very much establishing Silver's return, the training between both of the dojos and the various techniques that they're adjusting together and we spent this half of the season really amping up all of the tension between the students. And then the second half will be all out fighting. I'm pretty much sure that they won't do the whole tournament in one episode because that will really be a waste. I think it may even take part over two or maybe three episodes. And that's just because we've come accustomed to so many prominent characters, whether it be Miguel, Robbie, Hawk, Eugene, Sam, Tori. There's too many big characters involved to have all of the fighting take place in one single episode. I think that will be a real waste. So that's it really in terms of the overall stand-up moments that I saw from this second trailer overall. As I mentioned at the start of this video, I'm hugely excited for this fourth season. I truly believe it's going to continue the same form of momentum as what we got with the previous three seasons. I've stated multiple times that I think Cobra Kai is currently the best television at the moment. It's the perfect and ideal way to reboot a franchise. It retains what was so special about the previous films and also gives you newer characters and newer storylines moving forward. Really building on that synergy between the old and the new without descending into self-parody. And this is something that could be learned so much from other showrunners rebooting and remaking these iconic franchises. I suppose the only real worry that I have in terms of the show itself is that I do worry that it may eventually outstay its welcome. How often can you keep the rivalry between Johnny and Daniel? How often can you keep the rivalry between Silver and Crease and Johnny as well? The writers will have to continue doing a great job of trying to keep everything fresh and dynamic and interesting. I think another mistake by Netflix is dropping the show all at once. We've seen recently some shows have changed this approach where they're dropping certain episodes and then going to a weekly release format. I think that's the best way to go because you retain the chat. And Cobra Kai being released on New Year's Eve is definitely going to be one of the bigger shows for 2022. So it'll be far more ideal if they were indeed to introduce a weekly format. And this will keep Cobra Kai trending for the next 10 weeks. So that's the only really error that I can see. Or the only real main areas of concern is that it will outstay its welcome and that it should be released on a weekly format. But apart from that, everything else in this trailer is absolutely awesome, spectacular, exciting. We're well used to these characters now. Everybody has a prominent role throughout the season. Seasons, for the most part, tend to keep everything very relevant. There's no bloat. There's no real filler episodes. Everything is seemingly important. Again, another good benefit is that these episodes tend to be around 25 to 30 minutes long. Again, I think that helps with the pacing of the show and keeping everything relevant to the overall storytelling. I can't wait for this. I think season four will once again cement Cobra Kai's status as the best show on television, especially when we get to the overall tournament arc. So those are my overall thoughts and feelings and a view of Cobra Kai season four, the second trailer. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you just excited as me as seen as season four trailer? Do you think season four should have been the last or do you think there's enough mileage within the show to go past season five and perhaps season six as well? Let me know what you think in the comments. And as always, when the show arrives, I will do a season review and if there are any standout episodes, I will do reviews for those as well. And I'll also do an overall review of the fourth season in its entirety as well. So look out for all of those reviews later on within the channel. Please also hit and like the subscription and notification buttons so I can provide you with more high quality content like this in the future. But that's it for now. Take care of yourselves, stay at safe distances and I will see you very, very soon.